Hi friends, welcome to GT Goring. First of all, I would like to thank all the 1000 and more subscribers of GT Goring. A big thank you to all of you for being a part of this channel. It means a lot to me when you comment, like and share these videos. It encourages me to create more videos for you. I really hope that we will keep growing in the coming days. And if you are on this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. You will find tutorials on web designing and programming in this channel. So let's get started with the video. In this video we are going to talk about operators in JavaScript. There are a lot of operators in JavaScript so I'll be creating two videos on operators. In this first video we are going to look at the commonly used operators and in the next video we will look at all the other operators available in JavaScript. So let's get started. So the first type of operator that I am going to talk about is called the arithmetic operator. Using arithmetic operators we can do mathematical calculations. The first one I am going to talk to you about is called the plus operator. So the plus operator can be used to add two numbers. For example, if we add 22 and 10, then we get the result as 32. We can also add decimal numbers 10.5 plus 12.6. So we get the answer. So the plus operator is used to add two numbers. There is one more use of the plus operator. You can concatenate two strings which means that you can add or you can combine two strings using the plus operator. So for example, if I have a string called gt and then I have another string called coding. So if we add this plus operator in between both these strings, we get the result as gt coding. Plus operator can also be used to combine strings which is called concatenation. I will create a separate video on working with text in JavaScript. Using the minus operator we can find out the difference between two numbers. For example, if we type 5 minus 3, we get the difference as 2. We can also subtract 5 minus 8, which will give us the result negative 3. So we can also subtract numbers with decimal points. The next arithmetic operator is the star operator. The star operator is used to multiply two numbers. So if we type any number 5 multiplied by 6, we get the answer as 30. Now the next operator is the slash operator. Using slash operator, you can carry out division. For example, if I type 25 divided by 5 we get the answer as 5 and we also have another operator called modulus modulus operator can be used to find out the remainder of a division for example if you type 25 modulus 6 we get the remainder as 1 modulus operator can be used in many different situations uh, if you want to find out whether a number is even or not you can use the modulus operator you can type in any number and use the modulus operator and if we get the result as 0 we can say that the number is even or else the number is odd so the next operator is called the increment operator which is written as two plus signs so using the increment operator you can increase the value of a number by 1. For example, if we have a variable called number and we have a value of 4 in that. Now if we use the increment operator number plus plus and if we check the value of the variable we can see that the value turns out to be 5. So it is not turning 5 over here because when we use the increment operator after the variable the number is not increased when this line of code is running. So that is the reason why we got 4 over here. 
now if we want the number to be increased at the same time when this line of code is executing we can type plus plus number so when we type the plus plus operator or the increment operator before the variable the number is incremented immediately so we can see that the number 6 is printed out so in the same way we can also use something called the decrement variable so if we check the value of number it is 6 now if we use the decrement variable using two minus signs and check the value of number we can see that it is 5 we can also use the decrement operator before the variable and we get the result on the same line the next type of operators is called logical operators logical operators are used to check two different conditions so let me explain it to you for example if we have a condition and it results to true and then we have another condition that results to false or true so we can draw results based on those two conditions so the first logical operator is called AND to use the AND logical operator you have to write 2 ampersand if we have true and then we have this AND operator and then we have the other condition to be true so we have both these conditions to be true then we get the result as true and if we have any other combination then we will not get the result to be true for example if we have one well one condition to be false and the other to be true then we will get the result as false because using the AND logical operator you need to have both of the conditions to be true to get the result as true so the next operator is called the OR operator to use the OR operator you have to use pipe symbol on your keyboard it is usually above the enter key on a windows keyboard so we have to use two pipe symbols for the OR operator what OR operator does is that even if we have one of the two conditions to be true then the result will be true so we need at least one of the two conditions to be true for example if we have one condition to be true and then we will give the OR operator and we have the other condition to be false but we will get the result as true because at least one of the conditions is true we will get a result as false only if we have both of the conditions to be false so then we will get the result as false whereas when we use the AND operator we will get the result as true only if both of the conditions are true or else in all the other three different combinations we will get the result as false but in the OR operator we will get the result as false only if we have both of the conditions to be false and the last logical operator is called the NOT operator so we have to use the exclamation mark symbol on your keyboard to use the NOT operator what the NOT operator does is that if we have anything to be true it turns it into false and if we have something to be false it turns it into true for example we have a variable called result and we, we give it a value of false so if we check the value of result we get that it is false but now if we apply the NOT operator to our result variable we will get the result as true we have the original value of result as false but when we use the NOT operator we can change the value of the result operator to true so for example if we want to permanently change the value of result we can type in result is, e is equal to not result so if we check the value of result it turns out to be true 
so this is all about the logical operators in JavaScript the next type of operator is called the comparison operator so comparison operators are used to compare two different values as the name clearly states so the first operator is the double equals symbol so using this you can check if two values are the same for example if we check 43 and 2 equals sine and 43 we get the value as true or now if we check 43 is equal to 23 we get the value as false so this operator is used to check if both of the values are the same we have another comparison operator which uses 3 equals symbol so this also does basically the same thing but there's a the difference between both of these operators so if we have a value 43 and if we check using the new operator which has 3 equals signs we get the same result 42 41 we get the same result as the above operator but the real difference is that using the first operator we can only check the value of a variable we cannot it does not show whether the data type of both the both the values are same for example if we have a string 43 and we have a number 43 both of these are of two different data types so when we check this using the first operator we get the value as we get the result as true but if we use the same string and the same number using the second operator we can see that the result turns out to be false so in the first operator we can check whether the values are same but it does not check whether the data type is also same but using the second operator we can check whether the value and the data type are similar the next comparison operator is called not equal to for that we have to type the exclamatory mark and the equals symbol if we type in 34 is not equal to 34 we get the result as false because both of these are equal and now if we type 34 is not equal to 36 we get the result as true because both of the val both of these values are not the same and that is what we wanted the next comparison operator is less than operator so let me just clear the screen so less than operator is used to check whether a value is less than the value on the on the right side for example 43 is less than 33 we get the value as we get the result as false but if we have 43 is less than 100 we get the result as true the same goes with the greater than operator we can check it using some numbers so you get the idea the other operator is less than or equal to operator which also checks whether the value is similar or less than the value on the left side for example if we type 43 is less than 43 we get the result as false but if we type 43 is less than or equal to 43 we get the result as true so all this can be used in different situations in our programs the next one is obviously greater than or equal to which can be used in the same way as you used this operator that is all about the comparison operators in JavaScript the last type of operators is called the assignment operator assignment operator is used to assign a value to a variable so the first assignment operator is the equals sign equals symbol is used to assign a, num a value to a variable you may have seen it in our previous videos in this video itself we have used this assignment operator equals we will type in var and number 
and we used this assignment operator equals over here and we we assign a value of 43 to our variable number so if you type number we get 43 the other assignment operator is called is written using plus and equal to using this operator you can add a number to a value for example if you want to add 10 to our variable we can directly type in number plus equal to 10 so we get the result as 53 because 10 is added to 43 and we get the result as 53 this is the same as writing number equals number plus 10 so this is a short form for writing this line over here so in the same way we also have minus equals operator star equals operator to multiply a number with a value in the variable for example number star equals 10 so here we multiply 10 with 53 and we get the result over here in the same way we also have slash equal which stores the result of the division in our variable and we also have modulus equals which stores the result of our modulus operation in our variable so these are all the different types of operators that are used commonly in javascript in the next video we are going to look at all the other operators that are present in javascript so if you like this video please click on the like button and do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already i'll be posting more videos on javascript and web development thank you so much for watching